going to make split pea soup. Um, you're going to start by hitting saute on your instant pot. And uh, chopped up here, I have three stalks of celery, half a large onion, three small carrots, and two medium potatoes, and four cloves of garlic. Wasn't sure how I was gonna layer this in here if you're wondering why I, I really end up dumping the whole thing in. And if you don't like something or want something different in there, throw it in, it's soup. But this is how I'm doing this one. All right, then we're gonna add two cups of rinsed split peas. Um, these are the no soap ones, so you can just rinse them and throw them in. Mix it up. And then I have uh, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, three bay leaves, and one teaspoon of thyme. Now for the liquid, you could use all stock if you like. I used six cups in total, so I used two cups of water and four cups of vegetable broth. And if you wanted to have this any other way, you can. You can add beef broth, chicken broth, anything you like. It would all work. Even if you had a ham bone or something and you wanted to make this meat, go ahead. Perfect. Either way, it's all made the exact same way. And just mix that up and then you're going to put your lid on, make sure your vent is closed, hit a soup button, and knock that down to 15 minutes. Now you're just gonna let that go. Now this is going to be a no pressure release. You're going to let it sit in the pot once it beeps for 20 minutes at least, and then let the remaining air out. Move it away from your counters because, or making your cupboards because it'll steam them all up. And open it up. This is the point here where you're going to want to well, give it a good stir but you're gonna wanna taste it. You're gonna wanna see if the flavoring is where you want it. Um, if this, is the salt right? Is the pepper right? Is um, your spices right? So I did add an extra teaspoon of thyme. And there you have it. Enjoy.